Grow with me, hey, how you guys doing today? I'm just coming to you all with a quick video and some shout outs. Shout outs to two channels, Best Yet Journey and Her Healthy Home. I'm shouting them out because I went to one of their lives. I had the privilege to watch one of their lives yesterday and I must say it was so encouraging to my, my soul. Um, their personalities, their, you know, the way they made you feel comfortable and they also gave me a lot of pointers and a lot of advice okay I didn't really realize that people were actually watching my channel but they are and um, they were really encouraging about how to be your authentic self one of them also mentioned that I really don't show my face in videos okay um, and it's true I usually just show what I'm doing my garden and so I'm going to introduce myself officially my name is my channel name is grow with Renee 144 and if you want to know what the 144 means, I'll, I'll give you a hint. 144,000 of us, of each tribe of Israel, is going to be saved. And I'm hoping to be in that number, 144,000. Anyway, my name is Cassie, C-A-S-S-I-E. My channel is called Grow With Renee 144. I am from the state of Boston. Nope, sorry, the state of Massachusetts. So I grew up in the inner city. I never thought I would have a space where I could do my own gardening. And so I am now in the sunny southern state of California. Nope, that's not right either. I'm in sunny California in the southern part, okay? And I actually have an opportunity to um, utilize some space. I was blessed with this space. So I decided three years ago that I would start gardening. Um, I'm not a professional gardener. I really honestly, believe me, wing it. I think like a lot of us do, I started off winging it. I learned a lot of things. I'm learning a lot of things. Um, I really don't call myself a learning channel or educational channel, but I'm sure you'll learn that you can garden in a small space, okay? So this is a micro space for me. So I'm shouting out those two channels, Best Year Journey and Her Healthy Home. Thank you guys so much for that wonderful video yesterday. I appreciated it and um, it helped me out a lot. Um, I came here to also do a harvest of some broccoli seeds because um, I think I planted this broccoli, not really sure, probably earlier in January or December, winter. Because I thought it was a rented crop here in zone 10A. It went straight to seed. I never saw a broccoli crown. But I must tell you that um, the seeds that I actually have gotten off of her, they're amazing. So I'm going to let you guys see the seeds that I harvested off of this. I know you can hear them hit the plate. This is my little plate. This is what I call my little garden plate. This, this plate has been around for so long, I can't even get rid of it. <laughs> okay, so this is, the, this is how you harvest seeds for those newbies who have never harvested seeds before. Um, I have broccoli and I have pak choy. And the pak choy is right next to the broccoli and they're seeding as well. They have similar pods, but their pods are really fatter than these. So I figured I would definitely go ahead and let the broccoli dry out first so I don't get them confused with the pak choy. Now when you're harvesting seeds like this, sometimes you'll open them up and the seeds will be green. If they're green, that means they're not quite ready, so you can just let them dry out, okay? They'll dry out and they'll become hard and brown like the rest of them. And so like some, when you open up these pods, there's two sides to the pod. There's one side right here that has seeds and then on the other side will have seeds. And there's a small thin layer of film that separates the two of them. One side can be totally <clears throat> ready and dry. The other side can be green and not ready. So yeah, when, they open, when you open these up, they should pop out. And see, look, as they pop out, this, there's a seal over this side. You just pull that seal as well, and boom, they all just come sliding out. So yeah, that's how you harvest seeds from broccoli. 
Now I've harvested some purple basil seeds that I'm actually going to probably drop today. I've harvested um, quite a few things. I have some kale that's going to seed right now that I'm going to harvest. She's like right now. If you look at this, this is just a um, a yellow a yellow seed that's not quite ready. Very, you can smash it in between your fingers. I'm not going to try to save that seed, but I am going to open up this pod to see if anything falls out. If anything falls out and bounces, it's keepable. But look at this one. See these? They, they didn't fall out, but they're still sitting there, right? I'm going to let those dry out on this plate as well. I think. Yep. Because they're, they're actually, you know, when they make a sound when they hit the plate and bounce around, that's a good sign that they're, you know, they might be a viable seed. One that you can keep. So, let me see. Let me see if I can finish sharing some things about myself. Again, I always um, come out to, to share with you guys my harvest. I come out and share with you, um, you know, some of the things growing on, growing on in my garden. Lately, I have been showing you guys um, how I'm in my dirt, how I start off some of my seedlings, and um, I also decided that I would put out more videos. So my goal is to put out three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, nope, sorry, Monday, Friday, and Sunday. Um, I'm not ready to do a live video yet because, again, I have a young channel and I'm just not comfortable doing a live yet. And when I do Best Yet Journey, I'm coming to you because you promised that you would do a live with me. So, I don't know if my first live should be by myself or if my first live should be with um, a companion. We'll see. So yeah, so this is how I harvest my seeds. I'm going to go ahead and drop some of these seeds as well to see how viable they are. I already have some pots over there ready. Um... In fact, I have one of those little three-tiered thingies that you get from the Dollar Tree. I think I'll go ahead and plant them in those. And then um, see how that works out for me. Um, a lot of the garden channels that I watch have helped me out a lot in the garden. Um, I can go ahead and name a few of them. Um, everybody knows about T-Nog or the New Orleans Gardener. Everybody knows about Live Farmer 73. But a lot of people may not know about the Asian Garden to Table or um, it's the Ashley Hollywood, Honeywood. She does Dollar Tree finds, so she just goes around to different Dollar Trees and, you know, she, she posts her finds. I check out that channel as well. And there's another one called Silicon Hydroponic. Now, I'm not really sure how to spell Silicon, but I know it begins with a C. I'll probably post some of those, but then when I did the live yesterday with, um, or participated in the live with Best Yet Journey and Her Healthy Home, I saw Garden with Darlene, I saw The Mask Gardener, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, I saw the Captive Roots, and I saw another one called Ann Somebody, so I gotta go check them out and see what's going on over there too. But I enjoy this gardening thing. I enjoy the garden community. I'm, I enjoy watching everybody's channels grow. Um, and I'm not necessarily grow for monetary reasons, but just to grow, to let people know that people of our skin color actually do grow gardens, actually do enjoy um, showing people, you know, that you can do this. Um, I live on one, I think it's a half an acre. I'm calling it a half an acre because I haven't really showed you guys behind the house. I have I have plenty of space in the back that I might put a, a high tunnel back there or a whatever you call those things. What do you call these things? Um, I, I never can, I can never remember the names of these things. Uh, what do you call these things? These 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 things that you <laughs> that you grow uh, grow house. Yeah, I might put a little mini grow house back there. Not a mini, but a nice long one back there. If I can get somebody to go back there and clean that yard up, and um, you know, just get everything together, I'll put it up myself. I think it would be an awesome thing to do. It would keep 
It would keep the cats out. It would keep the rabbits out. It would keep the possum out. It would keep all the different animals out. And so that's my goal. My main goal is to get the back of my house gardened up as well. Now on the sides, I do have containers on this side. I have some grow pots on that side, which have my medicinal plants in them and um, which are not doing too good, but I have some new medicinal um, sprouts that are doing very well on my kitchen table. I can't wait to get those started. Um, some more things about my channel. I wanted to let you guys know that um, my channel is just not about gardening, but then it sort of kind of is, but we also make body butters. We make our own, I think I wrote a list. Let me see if I can see my list. Of things that we do because um, sometimes it's important to know what other folks do out here in case you're interested in doing them yourself or just um, having access to what other people do so I made some notes and I decided that that was a good thing for me to do is to make notes I made a wish list for myself and all the garden tools and supplies that I needed and when I wrote down that wish list I went back and looked at it and I realized I have everything on my wish list. I, I managed to purchase everything that I wanted on my wish list. Slowly but surely, but it happened, right? Um, let's see. Um, I had some topics that I have written down that I was going to have discussed. That's going to, it's like video, um, just some video topics that I that I wanted to do. Some will be how I stumbled across gardening. Um, I have no clue what I'm doing, um, so I've been winging it this whole time. That's a confession that I wanted to make. Um, I watch channels here on YouTube that have helped me, and I've taken the advice of. These are all just topics of you know channels that I've subscribed to, as well as researched in gardening. I've just decided to add more content, talk more, chat more, I should say, bug out videos, doing live videos, soon, stuff like that. So that's part of the list that um, I can make. And I think it's important that we do notes, take notes and make lists of our gardening um, endeavors and things that we want to do, especially as we get older and we know how our brains or our minds or memories kind of slow down on us. Yes, I'm admitting it. Some of us above 50 years. We know what we're talking about. Oh. So, I don't know if you guys remember or saw the video where I had my granddaughter here and she helped me out in the garden. That was such a major blessing to me. See, I take notes, but then I don't remember where I put the notes and, you know, what note, you know, whatever. But anyway, um, I also wanted to do some quick shout outs to some people that come to my channel a lot. One is called Clausen's World. She comes to my channel a lot. Patricia Newbay, Angela Busy Bees Garden, um, I Touch the Sky, um, Eight Gladdy, that's really kind of hard to, to pick up on, but yet yeah, she always comes, or he or she always comes to my um, comments and just leaves wonderful notes. Ernie Hatmaker, back to our roots homestead, which is Cheryl Swoops, she came um, to my channel, shout out to you Cheryl. Um, Cheryl, I'm going to be sending you some seeds, girl, because I'll be listening to you as you garden and stuff, and you winging it just like the rest of us, and I think that is so funny and so cute, so I'm going to send you some seeds, girl. Um, Diva Jones, she's a lifesaver. Diva, I haven't heard from her lately, but, um, she's been a help to my garden. She, she oh my goodness, she's a wealth of information. Um, I like her personality, too. She's got a, um... I can't explain her personality, but um, she's another great one to check out if you haven't. And then Gardening Cocktails with Joy. Now, Gardening Cocktails with Joy, when she came out with that pimp, with that pimp pad on, right, doing her thing, oh, she had me rolling. But she's making these cocktails, okay? And, you know, I'm not really a cocktail drinker. I'm more of a, um, I'm more of a, um, you know, bottle popper, which I'm going to pop now. Um, I'm gonna make me a, a lemon mimosa, but, um, she, um, she be in her basement, honey, which I love her basement. 
she made a nice little bar area down there and she takes things or she tries to use as many garden things in her garden as she can to make drinks with and I encourage her to grow some things like some mint and you know just think because honey she, I'm telling you she know what she doing so I appreciate her and uh, oh I must be celebrating y'all this is a celebration of 106 subs that's what this done turned into my bottles never do that so because that bottle did that this is now becoming a celebration of 106 subs. I just got them yesterday. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to do those shout-outs. I wanted to have a little chat with y'all and let y'all see my little personality. Since people want to see who I am behind the camera, they always see my garden, but they don't never see me. Now you're going to see me. Okay? Now, uh, let's see. Again, I took some notes. I'm going to revamp my About channel so that I can let you guys know exactly who I am and what I do. And um, we make hummus. We make tabbouleh. These are things, when I say we make them, they're staples in our kitchen. So we have our own ingredients, our own recipes. We make our own turmeric and ginger teas. We make our own body butters. We make our own toothpaste. We make our own Irish moss. Um, what else do we do? We just do a lot of things that we never knew we would do. We're doing some aromatherapies now. Um, so anyway, my garden, I hope, my garden channel, I'm hoping it, for it to become more interesting, to get more um, people to um, want to go natural, because we try, we try to do things as natural as possible. Um, trying to keep our body in an alkaline.